Hey guys, I am Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today, boy, I have a doozy for you today because I am excited. I am going to start a new series to go along with some of the other series that I'm doing to help you grow your business. Now, I've talked about the financial times, right? And that's one of the series that I'm uh, actively working on. I'm actually meeting with a lot of people in business and I'll actually put a link to the playlist over here on this side of the screen and you can go check that out. I have a couple of great interviews with some people I think would really help your business if you partnered with because having the right expertise and the right mix of that expertise should really help your business grow. But today I'm going to actually speak more from my experience. My experience in IT, I've got a degree in computer science to, uh, from the University of Nebraska in Omaha and I graduated in 2004 and I have quite a breadth of knowledge of different aspects of, of IT. I was a programmer for 16 years and spent a lot of time just tinkering with a lot of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spend some time giving you some quick tips on things that you th that I think you can do as a business owner to help enhance your business. So let's get started. The first thing I really want to talk about, and this is very key to a lot of business owners, a lot of time I'll meet them in, in a networking event and I'll be like, hey, let me get your card and we exchange information. One of the things that really sets a business apart is when you have an email address that is branded to your website. For instance, let's say you own a plumbing business, Joe's Plumbing, and you want to give someone the ability to connect with you. Are you going to hand them a business card and that's going to be joesplumbing at gmail.com? Or would you like to be joe at joesplumbing.com? And let's say you don't even have a website. Can you make that happen? Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, you can, and you don't need a big marketing staff, and you don't need a lot of back-end experience. You just need the ability to understand what it is you're actually trying to accomplish, and that is email forwarding. If you don't know that term, go ahead and Google it right now and look for email forwarding in your Google browser and see kind of what the concept is. But it's very simple, right? Let's say you've already established your business and you've been doing business for years and you have a Yahoo account. And all you really want to do is brand yourself with a nice snazzy email, right? Let's say you own Susan's dentistry office down the street. And I want to I want to not only give myself Susan myself an email address but I want to give all my staff an email address and I want to tie those to the Yahoo accounts that I've established in my business you can do that with email forwarding and not change anything about your business you don't have to change where they check their emails they don't have to worry about uh, sending out emails differently they can send the emails out the exact same way they always have except for now you have this new address that's really just kind of like a vanity address it's something that you can use as a professional way to, to brand yourself. And then in essence, that is something um, customers can connect with. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how it works and show you some of the screenshots for even my domain. Because I have IamKenRoss.com, right? You can go to my website. You can check out what I have there. All of that stuff was actually developed by me. But what was also established were some forwarding addresses. I did not want to have to fight to have a separate inbox for my email addresses. Right? I didn't want to have to set up Ken at IamKenRoss.com and have it go somewhere else and I have to check it somewhere else and deal with all that. I just want it forwarded to a place that I check on a regular basis and I get those emails along with the other emails. And so I'm going to actually attempt to show you some of that in a couple of the screenshots. Okay guys, quickly here I just wanted to kind of show you two ways to do email forwarding. Now I have uh, GoDaddy as my domain name registrar. It's the place I went and bought my domain a long time ago when I was in college. I bought a domain name and I established some simple for email forwarding uh, under my under GoDaddy. So you can see here I have a couple of different email addresses that I've established for this domain and you can see all of them here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, attempt to show you what it looks like when you go into one. So when you kind of mouse over these, it shows you that this this particular one, Ken at 
mydomain.com, right, forwards to uh, a Gmail account. So that's how that looks. To set something up like that, you click this create button and the create dialog looks like this, right? So you put in any email address you want. So in this particular case, I have any email at the domain that I've established.com and that's going to go to anything at anywhere.com or any number of comma separated email addresses. I could actually send all of these, I send one email, I can give you one email address and that email goes to several different places. This is all established under my plan, right? So you can see here, this is tied to my plan when I actually bought this domain and it's tied to every, you know, every domain that I have on, on GoDaddy. So it's something to look out for. If your, dom your registrar doesn't provide email forwarding out of the box, I would definitely seek one that does and use this feature if you don't plan to host your own website, right? There are other ways to do it if you actually do hosting, and I'm going to show you that as well. Okay, here it is in my cPanel for my host. My host is Bluehost. I use that for IamKenRoss.com, so let me go into that detail. So if you're in the cPanel, you log into it, you go to forwarders here, right? Click on that. Under here, you can see Ken at IamKenRoss.com. I'm forwarding it to some forwarding address, right? Ken at I don't want to tell you right now dot com. So that's kind of how I've established it. If you want to actually establish an additional one or you want to create your own, say you're in the cPanel, you click on add forwarder here. So once you click on that, it takes you to this screen and this screen really just looks very similar to the previous uh, example I was showing with GoDaddy. Any email you put it in there, any email at IamKenRoss.com is, in this particular example, going to any other address at EmailDomain.com. That's what I have set up here. If I clicked on Add Forwarder, it would put that configuration in with my host, and the host would handle all the forwarding. Now, the one thing you need to realize in either case is you've set up these forwarders, but you haven't tested them. That's a big key to this whole thing. Make sure you actually test them a couple of times. Re excuse me, reply to your messages to see if that's what you intended to actually happen in that particular case and make sure that um, it's exactly the way you want it before you start publicizing this information because nothing would be worse than to set this all up and say, hey, great, contact me at these na nice new email addresses and then none of them work. Okay guys, I really hope this was very helpful to you today. If you like this content, this is what I wanna to deliver to businesses. I want businesses to be empowered, to do things on their own, to actually know how to do some of these very minor tech-related things that I think every business could have without having to hire a bunch of people and, and go through a lot of hoops. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. Please reach out to me. I'd love to help you get this started. I'd love to see more business owners use a domain, right? If you if you don't even have a, a, a website, right, or you have a very limited space of the internet, like let's say you have a Facebook page or something like that, but you want something more professional like this, establishing a vanity email address does not require that you establish a website. So I want to make sure that that's very clear as well. It's very easy to set up. You can do it in a very short period of time, and I would love to see more people use it because I really do think it would enhance your business. So with that, let me know what other topics I, I can cover. If there are tech related things like, hey, I really want to know how to do this. I would be more than happy to show you how to do that. Be more than happy to do the research and figure out how to make that work for you and your business. And like and subscribe to this uh, video series. Let people know I'm out here and, and I'm actually looking for uh, ways to help your business grow. And visit my website. I am KenRoss.com, and until I see you next time, see you around.